Hello, hello. How is it going? How are you today? Buenas noches. It's good to have you here, my dear participants. I'm very glad to have you here with us. Okay, we are going to start uh, with the welcome presentations. Vamos a comenzar con la presentación de bienvenida. Okay, so just wait a minute for me. So let me share. Let, uh, people is coming uh, to the meeting, people is connecting to the meeting, so we are going to wait just a couple of minutes for them to come. Okay, uh, as I said before, we are going to start. Uh, so please be very welcome on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. It's a pleasure for us to have you here uh, tonight to continue studying the basic two model, okay? So um, to study this, uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself, even though I did it in the WhatsApp group, in the chat. My name is Patricia de Moran. I live in Apopa, San Salvador. I'm 42 years old. There are four people in my family. Uh, there are my husband and my two girls. I work at Inglés Corporativo. My major in education, uh, my major is in education, specialized in English language, and my master is in local development. So it's a pleasure to be your facilitator in this course. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I just want to um, add some important facts uh, for this beginning. I want to say that we will meet from Monday to Thursday for an hour through Zoom but you will continue working in a platform, watching videos and solving exercises. It will improve your listening, reading and writing, okay? Vamos a hacer esto un poquito Spanglish, ¿verdad? Eh, solo por esta clase. Eh, sé que es información recurrente que ya ustedes la recibieron de repente de la administración, pero no está de más que la mencionemos, ¿verdad? Nos vamos a reunir de lunes a viernes, eh, perdón, de lunes a jueves, una hora a través de Zoom. Y eh, vamos a continuar trabajando en la plataforma. Solo déjenme ponerles mute un momentito para que nos podamos escuchar bien. Ok. Vamos a continuar trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Viendo los videos y resolviendo los ejercicios, los knowledge check. Eh, what for? ¿Para qué? It will improve your listening. El escuchar los videos les va a ayudar a mejorar su escucha, su comprensión del idioma. And also reading and writing, because you can read the exercise, you can write, but also you can repeat, you can improve your pronunciation. Usted puede mejorar también su pronunciación by repeating the new words you find there. Eh, repitiendo, ¿verdad? Las palabras nuevas que usted encuentre. Eh, also, um, the class methodology is, uh, but let me uh, remark something here. Aquí quiero remarcar algo y voy a ir a mi a mis indicaciones, ¿verdad?, para podérselos recordar. Eh, aunque la clase sea, digamos, de lunes a jueves originalmente, eh, hemos, eh, como este curso lo vamos a terminar, ¿verdad?, eh, para el 17 de diciembre, estoy diciendo esto en español para que nos quede claro a todos, chicos, eh, vamos a tener clases a partir de hoy, ¿verdad?, hasta el jueves 17 de diciembre, y va a haber eh, videoconferencias los días viernes 27, ¿verdad? Respondiendo a los días que estamos respondiendo esta semana, que sería el día lunes. Y luego vamos a tener clase el viernes 4 de diciembre, respondiendo la clase de eh, otro día de esta semana, ¿verdad? Que sería martes. Entonces, eh, then, eh, we will have two Fridays from, out of the four weeks de las cuatro semanas. Vamos a tener dos semanas que vamos a trabajar en viernes. And then the next two weeks, uh, Friday is going to be free. Y en las últimas dos semanas, pues el, el viernes va a estar libre. So, uh, remember that the platform must be completed uh, over the 80% uh, by uh, Thursday, this December 17th, right? Para el jueves 17 de diciembre a la medianoche necesitamos haber completado lo que es eh, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Because, I, I just want to clarify this, because maybe 
eh, in the platform you will find a different date. ¿verdad? Probablemente en la plataforma usted va a encontrar una fecha diferente, but the real date, pero la fecha real para completar el proceso en Times of Court es 17 de diciembre. ¿verdad? Remember that they go on vacation. Esto porque eh, las instituciones también entran en vacación, so we need to finish this process. Ok, the class methodology is student-centered and the teacher becomes a facilitator. Students will have an introductory of the topic related to the platform, an explanation, examples, and work group to strengthen speaking, and then participation in plenary session. All students are invited to participate to improve their performance. ¿Cómo va a ser la clase? Centrada en usted, ¿verdad? You as a student and I will become your facilitator. Y yo voy a ser únicamente su facilitadora. We are going to connect the topic with the platform every night. Todas las noches vamos a conectar, ¿verdad? Lo que sería la plataforma con el tema. And then we are going to provide additional material for practical purposes. Y vamos a proveer material adicional para las prácticas. So all of you are in the WhatsApp group and we will be a, build a supportive learning community. Todos ustedes están ya en el grupo de WhatsApp y vamos a construir una comunidad de aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Para eh, resolver cualquier duda o ejercicio. But the most important to learn from each other. Pero lo más importante es aprender uno de otro, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, we are going to support each other. Nos vamos a ayudar, ¿verdad? If we need to correct mistakes, we won't eh, love about others' eh, performance, ¿verdad? Nos vamos a ayudar. Eh, nadie va a tener... Eh, nadie, digamos, va a, digamos, reírse o hacer broma de una corrección que le hagamos a alguien porque, pues, todos estamos aprendiendo unos de otros y nos ayudamos, ¿verdad? Um, y vamos a apoyarles, eh, pues, en todo, ¿verdad? For you to eh, successfully accomplish this. Para que todos puedan completar exitosamente esta meta. Ok, what will happen? Uh, we need to complete all the plat platform exercises. Remember that that's the most important, important thing for you. We need to achieve at least 80% in all scores. And uh, this is exercises, midterm exam, and final exam. Tenemos los knowledge check que son evaluados, ¿verdad? Tenemos el examen de medio periodo que es al finalizar la segunda semana, que sería para el viernes 4, ¿verdad? Ese día ya estamos en, en lo que sería el midterm exam. Y el final exam que sería para el 17 de diciembre, on December 17. So, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta acá, about the class methodology. Acerca de la metodología de la clase. Ok, if not, just let me go to the platform. Si no, me van a permitir un segundo para poder mostrarles la plataforma. Okay, just wait for me a second. And then let me show you the platform that I have here for you. I would like to ask, uh, do you have problems joining the platform? Hemos tenido problemas para unirnos en la plataforma? Me gustaría saber eso antes que nada, ¿verdad? If you have had difficulties for accessing the platform, I would like to know in order to help you. Si alguien ha tenido dificultades para ingresar a la plataforma, pues eh, me gustaría saber para poder apoyarle, ¿verdad? We have a technical staff that can support you in those cases. Tenemos un equipo técnico que puede apoyarles en esos casos, ¿verdad? Okay, so let me just open and show you. Okay, here you are. Uh, for today, we are going to talk about section one. My sister works downtown. We have the lesson objective and we are going basically to learn about uh, vocabulary and conversation about transportation means. So for today, the lesson objective says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary from, for talking about transportation. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrate this topic. At the, okay, that's in Spanish. So uh, here you have a video that says transportation, vocabulary, and conversation. Nice car. So that's a conversation. 
you can add here your comments about this video and about what they are asking for. So the idea is that you can practice your writing and, and reading here. And then you have the 1.2 lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statement using regular verbs. So we are going to learn about regular verbs in this class. And then you have a support a simple present statement video. And again, the discussion forum. And we have the first knowledge check that it's 1.4 that says complete the sentences with the correct verb form. So we are going to work on this after, right after the class. If we cannot do it today, we are going to open the class tomorrow working in this knowledge check. Si no podemos completar este knowledge check ahora, pues mañana, ¿verdad? Lo completaríamos, pero es parte de las, eh, de las cosas que vamos a ir resolviendo para ir sumando la evaluación. So I'm going to stop sharing and I will go to the presentation that I have for you. Okay, this is the transportation means. So let me just, okay. I don't know what it doesn't want to share. Vamos a ver, chicos. Parece que me tengo que salir de la plataforma para poder proyectarlo. Okay, uh, I would like it, that you can confirm if, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Can you watch it now? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, I would like that you can mute again. Le voy a pedir si nos podemos poner en mute de nuevo because we are going to work uh, with, um, let me see. Oh, sorry. Eh, ok, vamos a ver. Vamos, solo déjenme resolver el issue del link porque parece que sí ha, ha habido dificultad. Denme un segundo. Eh, el link estaba en sus correos, chicos. Yes. Pero no sé si a la hora de compartirles se fue. A ver, un segundo. No déjenme resolver esto del link para asegurarme que todos puedan ingresar, porque eso sí es importante. Déjenme ver, no este. Denme solo un segundo porque quiero asegurarme que sus compañeritos pueden ingresar y que todos estamos en la misma sintonía. Solo denme un segundo. Okay, just wait a minute for me, please. Solo denme un segundito para ingresar a los compañeros que están presentando alguna dificultad. Gracias por su comprensión. Thank you for your understanding. Ok, vamos a ver si sí, sí es la misma. Ok, ahí está. Ok, there it is. Sorry. Ok, let's continue. Ok, here we have a, a vocabulary about transportation means. We have truck, van, ambulance, train, air balloon, helicopter, ship, bicycle, airplane, car, taxi, motorcycle, and bus. Here we have from one to 22, in the left side we have the drawings, the means of transport, and in the right side we have the names. We have an ambulance, a hot air balloon, a bicycle or bike, a bus, a car, a coach, a ferry, a helicopter, a limo, a liner, a lorry or truck, a, a motorbike, a plane, a racing car, a rocket, a sailing boat, a scooter, a submarine, a taxi, a tractor, a train, a tramway. So I would like to ask you, um, what, 
what do you think is the number one? So let's, let's uh, join, let's link the numbers with the meanings, with the uh, names. Uh, so what do you think is number one? Okay, let's observe the drawing. Observemos el dibujo y díganme, eh, vamos a unir el dibujo en, eh, en eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, from the left. It's number 20. Uh, let's see, no, vamos a ver. Let's join, let's eh, link the number with the, with the word. So, I will do number one. Le voy a ayudar con la número uno. For example, for plan. The, it, it looks like an airplane, right? Eh, se ve como un avión, pero en realidad es un rocket. A rocket. Es un cohete espacial. A rocket. Yeah? Okay. Okay, let me see. Num, uh, number two. It's true. Maybe it's a truck, right? Or a lorry, okay? A lorry or truck. Okay, what about number three? What do you think about number three? Tractor. Tractor. Yeah, it's a tractor. And number four, what do you think is number four? Train. Train. A train, okay, train. a train. Very good. And number five? A taxi. A taxi. taxi. And number six. What do you think about number six? Airplane. An airplane. Okay. And number seven? Motorbike. Motor. Motor. Yeah, it's a kind of motorbike, but it's a scooter. Es un tipo de motocicleta, pero es una scooter. But es como más, más chiquita. It's a little, it's a little bit. Uh, less than, uh, let's say, a uh, motorcycle, okay? So number seven is a scooter and number eight is a motorcycle or motorbike, right? that motorbike. Okay, what about number nine? A train? Uh, a bus. Yeah, it looks like a bus. bus. Se ve como un bus, pero en realidad eh, es algo que se llama un... Eh, coach, que viene siendo, eh, le voy a definir la, la definición, I will read the definition. A coach or motor coach is a bus used for longer distances. Eh, a service, in contrast to transit buses, they are typically used within a single metropolitan region. Ese um, coach es como los buses que van para Guatemala, ¿ya? Yeah? Like the Guatemalan and mm. Honduras transportation. So it looks like number nine. Se ve un poco más grande, ¿verdad? Sí? Se ve más grandecito. Uh, okay, what about number ten? Ten. A van. Mm, a van. A car. It, it's, it's a van. It's a car, but it's a van, right? Es un carro, pero tipo van, ¿verdad? A van. Okay, number eleven. A bus. A bus. Very a bus. Good. Yes. And what about number 12? Is uh, a hot air balloon. Yeah, balloon. that's a hot a balloon. air balloon. A hot air balloon. Okay, number 13. Balloon. Ferry. Yeah, it's a ferry. Yes, that's right. Ferry. Number 14. Uh, submarine. 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 Yeah, number 15. What do you think about number 15? 15. Eh, 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 vamos a ver. Maybe a sailing boat? Un bote, maybe, a sailing boat. Es como, sailing, como un jet, ¿cómo se dice? Sailing boat. Sailing, sailing boat. Yeah. 
And what about the number 16? Mm. Helicopter. A liner, ¿verdad? El 16. El 17 es un helicopter, but a, line, a liner. Which is like a, like a kind of ship, right? Kind of ship. Es un tipo de barco, pero es un trasatlántico, ¿verdad? If you see it's bigger, es más grande, it's bigger, es más grande que the sailing boat. The sailing boat. So it's a liner, un trasatlántico, ¿verdad? A liner. Uh, yeah. Okay, in number 16 you said it's an helicopter. Number 18. A bike. A bike. A bicycle. A bicycle. A bicycle. Number 19. 19. A ferry. Racing a, car. A racing car. 19 is a racing car. And 20? What about number 20? Ambulance. An ambulance. Uh, an ambulance. Okay, 21. What's, what's 21? A limo. Limo. A lime. limo. Okay, yeah. A limo. A limo. A limo. Yes. A limo. A limo. Okay. And number 22? Train. Train. A, tra a tramway. Train. A tramway. Es un tramway. Yeah. They, they are not very common here. No, no son muy comunes acá, ¿verdad? That we don't have, actually. Realmente no tenemos. Okay, now we have means of transport, and now the idea is that you match the word with the picture, okay? We have 20 difficulties, train, car, ship, fire engine, taxi, bicycle, tricycle, jet ski, balloon, van, bus, lorry, sailboat, ambulance, plane, speedboat, police car, jeep, motorbike, and helicopter. So I would like you, uh, you can take a picture and you can take a screenshot. Me gustaría que por favor puedan hacer un screenshot. And I will send this image, but if you have a better one, eh, si ustedes tienen una mejor, it's going to be okay. Oh, sorry, I sent you the same, permítanme. Les envié la misma. I need to send the other one. Okay, here you are, ahí está. Okay, if you can take a better picture than mine, it's okay. Si usted puede tener una mejor que esa, está bien. Okay, so what we are going to do now. Now is your turn to practice. I will invite you to go to the breakout rooms and that you can discuss and that you can classify in transport, in land transportation. ¿verdad? ¿En qué lo vamos a clasificar? Land transportation. Vamos a compartir de nuevo para que quede muy clara la instrucción. Land transport water transport and air transport, okay? So you're going to classify, lo vamos a clasificar, ¿verdad? You're going to classify them. Okay, we are going to have three minutes for this activity. So let me invite you to the breakout rooms. Okay, let's join, unámonos. Remember that this is your time to speak and practice. Thank you for the picture. It's a better definition, that one. I appreciate that. Please let me know in case you have difficulties for joining the groups. Por favor, me hacen saber si tienen dificultades para unirse a los grupos. Yo no puedo entrar, teacher. Ok, ahorita, les, ahorita con mucho gusto les reasigno. Gracias. Ok, el limita. Okay, there you go, Elenita. You have a new invitation now. Please join. Uh, David um, and Francisca, do you have problem joining? 
¿Okay? Me hacen saber si tienen dificultades para unirse, ¿verdad? Eh, me estaba fallando el internet, pero ya me volví a conectar. Ok, ahorita le estoy reenviando la invitación. Gerson, hello Gerson, do you have a problem joining the group? Gerson? Gerson and Stephanie, I already sent you the invitation. Ya les envié la invitación, Gerson y Stephanie. Ok, al grupo, a la sala que entré anteriormente solo yo estaba, pero no, ahorita no me aparece. Limita. No le aparece, ahorita la muevo, Stephanie, no se preocupe. Ok, gracias. Ok, I'm, I, I have sent you another invitation. Could you check, please? Eh, ¿A dónde la veo, teacher? Eh, Tiene que llegarle un mensajito que dice join o unirse. No, 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 no me aparece. Eh, se la acabo de reenviar para la sala 7, la voy a volver a mover. Vale. Revise ahora, Stephanie, por favor. Tendría que aparecerme como una eh, pantalla emergente, ¿verdad? Sí, exactamente. No, no me sé. eh, ¿Será que tiene bloqueado los, las notificaciones? No, porque anteriormente entré a una sala, pero solo yo estaba. Mm, Ajá. Extraño. Sí. Y ya la ha movido veces, Stephanie. Bueno, mire, me apena, pero voy a seguir intentando y si no, pues tendría que trabajarlo acá usted en el salón principal. No hay ningún problema. Y, eh, vamos si no, a... yo espero, no hay ningún problema. Okay, lo puede desarrollar. Eh, puede, usted puede hacer la clasificación. Ok, eso. perfecto, gracias. Ok, I already sent you. Ya le envié nuevamente, but you, you try. Okay. Si no, nada. Nada, ¿verdad? No, Habría nada. que revisar porque sí... Eh, Está un poco raro, pero but you can stay here. Usted puede permanecer okay. acá. Ok. Gracias. You're welcome. Estoy viendo las imágenes. Sí, la 3. Dice que es ship. La número... Eh, eh, ajá. Eh, ¿Qué sería la número 3, me dijo? Ship, yes. pero no sé la traba. Ship. Porque está un G-Sky... Es la 18, Jeep. No. No, Jeep, no. ¿Cuál imagen? Carreras, no, no sé. Revolucionario, uh -huh. Así que no sabría decir si es ese. Hello, teacher. ¿Es todo bien? ¿Tienes preguntas? Sí, el tricycle es la moto, el seven. Ok. Yeah. Land. Sí. For land, right? For okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Number eight, jet ski. Um, jet ski. Este? No. Yes. Eight. Jet ski. Okay, very good. In, in, in land. Sí, ven a mí, no. Just continue classifying, ¿ok? Ok. Perfect. Ok. okay. Hello, Briseida. How are you today? Have you recently joined us to the class? ¿Recientemente nos ha, se ha unido, Briseida? Eh... 
eight. Permite. Uh, I guess key. I guess key. Thirteen. Sale. Norman, ¿qué quiere decir? ¿El qué? Como Lorry. 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 Lorry, my dears, is a synonym of truck in um, French English. Ya. Yeah. Es un sinónimo como de truck, ¿verdad? O camión. En mm -hmm. French English. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Ok. Bien, Amena, lo veo un minutito. Okay, go no. on. Excellent. Vaya, ¿por dónde vamos? Hello, hello. Is everything okay here? ¿Todo bien por acá, chicos? Are you um, able to share your answers? Eh, todo bien de momento. Excuse me? Todo bien de momento. Okay, excellent. I'll call you back in a minute. Lo llamo un minutito, okay? Thank you. Okay. Hello, welcome back. People is coming back from the practice. So I would like to share, uh, I would like that groups can share about what they found in uh, the classification, okay? Como hicieron la clasificación, verdad? I would like to know that. I'm so curious about that. Okay, who would like to participate? Say in the land transport. Vamos a necesitar one, one team for land transport, and one team for water transport, and one team for air transport. Necesitamos tres equipos, three participation. So who would like to start? A ver, ¿a quién me gustaría comenzar? Vamos a ver. One team that want to share about land transport. A ver, los equipos que clasificaron eh, transporte terrestre. Please, uh, I cannot hear you well. Tal vez si me, could you repeat, Evelyn? Could you repeat that again? Uh, number one, train. Mm -hmm. Train. Car. Okay. Car. Mm -hmm. Que no teníamos tan claro que era she, la tren. Okay. Ship is from the water, you will see. Okay. Ship es barco, ¿verdad? Va en la otra clasificación de water. Yes. Ok, excellent. Ok, do we have more? ¿Tenemos más? Or that's it, solamente. Bicycle. Eh, bicycle. No, no sé okay. Puedo con bicycle. Eso. And what else? Okay. Bicycle. Bicycle. Tricycle. Bicycle, van, ambulance, police car, jeep, Mo yeah, motorbike, mo lorry. Motorbike, yes, that's true. Most of, all of them, most of them are land transport. La mayoría son de tra transporte terrestre, ¿verdad? Yes. So, what about the water transport? Which one did you classify? I entered a ship. 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 Uh-huh. Jet ski. ski. Speed box. Jet ski. Okay. Jet ski. Speed. Lorry. Lorry. Mm -hmm. Speed box. No, a ver, el lorry, no. El lorry es, mm. le dije que era un truck. Es un sign in the truck. Sí, entonces no, el lorry no va ahí. Solo tenemos ahí el ship. El jet, el jet ski. Jet ski. Ajá, el sailboat. 
Ajá, tenemos el speedboat. Spell. Uh, only that. Only, yeah. And for only the air, that. for the air transportation, what do you have? Um, el 20 helicopter. Okay. Helicopter. Balloon. 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 Okay. Balloon. Ajá. Balloon. Plane. 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 Yeah. Helicopter. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. So let me advance. Thank you so much for participating in this classification. Now we will go to the grammar part for this um, uh, class. And we are going to remember about the simple present statements. When we use simple present, we say, I walk to school, you ride your bike to school. And normally we add a letter S to the verb when we talk about he, she, okay? And we say, he works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation, okay? I don't live far from here. You don't live near here. He doesn't work. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. This is the negative statement. And look that for uh, uh, making negative statements, we use do or does. And we add the particle not. In this case, the particle not is contracted. And we say, don't, I don't live far from here. He doesn't work. She doesn't try to work. Okay, now let's use these uh, tenses using the vocabulary we learn about the transportation means and also the question form. Where do you work? For example, if you ask me, teacher, where do you work? I say, I work at Inglés Corporativo. How do you get to your workplace? I drive or I take a bus. I walk to my workplace. How long does it take? It takes an hour by car or it takes an hour and a half by bus. It takes half an hour to get there. In here you can see we have the subject, we have the verb plus the complement. Esta pregunta, how do you get to your workplace? ¿Cómo llegas, verdad, a tu lugar de trabajo? Es como un synonym of arrive, a llegar. But in this case, how do you get to? Nos da la sensación de llegar, llegar a, verdad? Eh, a un lugar. Eh, it's like moving from, from eh, like mobility, mo movilidad, ¿verdad? Movernos de un lugar a otro. How do you get to your workplace? ¿Cómo llegas a tu lugar de trabajo? Ok, uh, yo puedo decir I drive, manejo, I take a bus, tomo un bus, I walk to my workplace, camino a mi lugar de trabajo. How long does it take? ¿Cuánto tiempo te toma? It takes an hour by, by car. Vea que digo by car. O puedo decir by bus. ¿Verdad? Utilizo la preposición by. It takes an hour by car. It takes an hour by bus. Um, aquí está. It takes an hour and a half by bus. It takes half an hour to get there. Llegar ahí, ¿verdad? O moverme hacia ahí. So again, we have the subject, it. The verb takes. A compliment, half an hour to get there. Okay, now is your turn to speak. I would like you to please uh, have a screenshot of this. Me gustaría que podamos tener un screenshot de esa, eh, de esa parte. Okay, thank you, you already did it. Ya la mandaron, excellent. Okay, now let's open the breakout rooms again. Vamos a dejar de compartir y vamos a abrir los breakout rooms. So you can practice. Remember that I said before, you will practice a lot in this conversation, in this um, class. What I, I expect from you is that you can share with your classmates these questions. You, that, that you can interchange the roles also for you to have the chance to ask and answer. Como les dije, vamos a hablar mucho, ¿verdad? Ustedes van a hablar más que yo para aprovechar al máximo este espacio. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en esta parte? Desarrollar la pequeña conversación turnando los roles. En una primera instancia uno es A y en una segunda instancia es B. ¿Verdad? Ambos van a ser roles de A y B. ¿Ok? Do you have questions? ¿Tenemos preguntas? Uh, is clear what we are going to do? Yes. Excellent. Let's open the rooms and go, please. Let's join. Unámonos, ¿verdad?
If you have problem joining, let me know. Si tienen problemas para unirse, me lo hacen saber, ¿verdad? No, Yo creo que es. es. No, es la que, que ella Ay, estaba difícil. viendo. Ah, ok. Teníamos la duda si era la de la plataforma o la que compartió usted. Hi, hello. We are, going, we are going to work with the image. Vamos a compartir la imagen que les envié ah. que está en green, en green color. Por ahí está en el WhatsApp group. Yeah, ah, that, that sí. one. Sí, yes, the idea is that you can practice that, practice that short conversation. La idea es que practiquen esa conversación corta entre ustedes, ¿verdad? Oh, yeah. Once you will play, play the role of A and once you will play the role of B. ¿Ok? Questions? Yeah. A mí no me aparece el grupo, teacher. Eh, eh, a ver, Maribel, en el, en el correo que le enviaron de inglés corporativo eh, para unirse a las sesiones, ahí hay un enlace. Uh -huh. para que usted se una al grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces le pediría de favor si me puede ayudar en revisar nuevamente su correo y, y buscar el enlace. Yo lo busco después. Ok, ok. Y tal vez para hacer el ejercicio alguien de los compañeros que comparte sí, la pantalla. Ya lo estamos viendo ahí. Excellent, thank you. Sí. See you in a couple of minutes. Lo veo en unos cuatro minutos, ok? Yes. See you. How does it take? It takes an hour by car. I takes an hour. I work at Servicio Colón. How do you get your work workplace? I take a bus. It takes an hour by car. Uh, it takes an hour and a half by bus. It takes half an hour to get there. The new one. How do you get to tour? Hello, hello, Maritza. Can you hear me? Hola, Maritza, ¿me puede escuchar? Hello. Hello, Maritza. It seems that your, uh, class, your classmates couldn't join. So, um, let me send you a message.
Bueno, creo que la compañera Carla no aún no se ha conectado. No, a mí me cuesta la pronunciación. Where do no. you go? May I help you? ¿Puedo ayudarles, chicos? Eh, mm. Sí, bueno, queremos, eh, queríamos practicar con la compañera Carla, pero no nos, no nos escucha. She cannot hear, ok. Don't worry, maybe you can practice between you both and then uh, go to the plenary and maybe uh, she's having problems with the internet connection. Ok, you can practice uh, as much as you can. Pueden hacerlo entre ustedes dos entonces, no hay problema. La, probablemente la compañera tiene problemas de audio. Ok, comienzo yo, compañero. Where do you work? Is this hard on other two? Yes. There, no, there, there. There, get there. there. To get there. To get there. How do you get uh, to your workplace or how long does it take? Uh, a ver, let's see. Uh, it takes half an hour to get there. For example, to get there. Entonces, lo repito. ¿Cuál estaba diciendo? La última, la última opción de la pregunta. Um, How long does it day? It takes half an hour to get there. It takes half an hour. Half, half, la L no suena, en half. Um, it it takes half an hour, y se une la F con la A. It takes half an hour to get there. To get there. Get es una G que no suena fuerte, sino como, como gato, como que voy a decir gato. G -g -get. Get, get there. Get, get there. Yes. Ok. Ok, excellent. I'll call you back in a minute. Lo llamo en un minutito, compañeros, para que podamos continuar con la plenary okay. session. Gracias. Ok, you're welcome. See you. Hello, welcome back. I hope you have had the opportunity to practice this short conversation and that you were able to say uh, where do you work, how do you get to your workplace, and how long does it take? Who would like to start? I need volunteers to start. Vamos a necesitar que comencemos con los voluntarios, ¿verdad? Y luego vamos a ir little by little, including more and more. Ok, let's see. Who wants to start? Vamos a ver quiénes quieren comenzar. Maybe um, Xiomara, Xiomara Amaya's team, el equipo de Xiomara. Eh, vamos a repasar. Eh, just perform, presentarlo, ¿verdad? Eh, the, the same way you were practicing in the breakout, in the, uh, breakout room, show to the class. Hacer un demo, ¿verdad? De cómo lo hicieron en el breakout room entre ustedes. What? Ok, you decide to start. Ustedes deciden quién comienza y quién, eh, who is A and who is B. Eh. Ibis. Ok. Where do you work? Xiomara. Uh, how do you get to your workplace? Eh, pero no respondieron a la pregunta, where do you work? Eh, vamos pausado, ¿verdad? La primera pregunta es, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? La otra persona contesta. Mm -hmm. I work in Nestlé. Ok, now the next question is, how do you get to your workplace? Lo tiene que hacer. Yes, to your work, to your work. 
world price. Mm -hmm. I take a bus. Okay, and the next question. I will. How long? How long does it take? How long does it take? Okay. It ta takes half an hour to get there. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Do we have another team member? Teníamos otro miembro del equipo por ahí? Sí. Okay, who was he or she? Eh, ¿Quién era el compañero o compañera? No me fijé. Yo, pero no. El, el otro. No sé quién dijo yo, perdón. A ver. Eh, y Ibis. Ok, Ibis. Would you like to perform with uh, Xiomara? Ok. Now, eh, Xiomara, would you like to ask Ibis? ¿Le gustaría preguntarle a Ibis? Sí, sí. Where do you work? I work uh, call center. Okay. How do you get to your girl place? I take a, I take a bus. Mm -hmm. How long does it take? It takes uh, 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, team. You did a great job. Okay, we are going to request uh, maybe Isaac Flores, team. Isaac, would you like to share your work with the class? Your practice, your breakout room practice with the class? Yes. Please, go ahead. Adelante. Where, where do you work? Who are you asking? Eh, ¿A quién le preguntamos? Vamos a ver de los compañeros, classmates. Classmates. ¿Quiénes eran los compañeritos? Mm -hmm. Si no, yo les veo aquí en el breakout room. Si no lo... uh, Virginia. Ok, ok, adelante. Virginia Rivas. Ok. Where do you work? Ok, I am where uh, Seguros del Pacífico. I work, sin el am, I work. I where uh -huh. yes another question how how do you get to your work play place right. place mm -hmm. i'm dry okay mm, yes mm, another question how long does it take How long does it take? How long? I say 10 minutes in my car. Okay, 10 okay. minutes in my car, 10 minutes by car. Excellent, thank you. Who else was in your team, Isaac? ¿Quién más estaba en el equipo? Solo nosotros. Maribel, Maribel Pineda. Okay. Maribel, are you there? Siento que Maribel ya había participado en otro, pero no estoy sí, segura. Yeah. Sí, ya. No, no, no. Sí, ok, ah. excelente. Thank you. Ok. Evelyn Enríquez Team, el equipo de Evelyn Enríquez. Evelyn. Hi, teacher. Hi, my dear. Would you like to perform with your team? And David, creo que se llama. David, are you there, my dear David? Daniel. Daniel, sorry, Daniel. Uh, Daniel. Okay, please go ahead, Daniel. Perdón, Daniel. <laughs> we change your name. No sorry, Daniel. No problem. Eh, Empiezo yo a preguntar. Yes, please. Where do you work, Evelyn? Where? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work, Evelyn? I work at Export Salvation Free. Okay. Free zone. Free zone. Perdón, free zone. Okay. How do you get to your workplace? Get, like in gato. Get, get to your workplace. How do you get to your workplace? 
I go to my girl place. Okay. I drive her. Yeah, I drive. You can say I drive, okay? And now the next question. One long, one long does us stay? How long? How? How? How long? Oh, yeah. How long does it take? How long does it stay? Mm -hmm. It takes half an hour. Do you get there? To get there. To get there. Half an hour to get there. Okay, very good. Congratulations. Do we have any other member in your team? Teníamos otro miembro en el equipo? Solamente nosotros dos. Only you both. Okay, excellent. Don't worry. Okay, let's let's see the last part of the class, which is a conversation that says, listen and practice. This is a conversation between Ashley and Jason. And Ashley says, nice, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, so key, key questions here or key things here. Uh, she has a new job. Yeah, en el presente simple siempre utilizamos eh, el verbo para la tercera persona, agregamos la letra S en el caso de have, el, la forma correcta para he, she, it es has, pero en el caso de drive decimos drives, porque estamos hablando de she. Esto es algo que lo vamos a ver detenidamente in the next classes. Okay? Um, my parents work downtown. Como estamos hablando de they, my parents, entonces ya el verbo no lleva esa letra S. Solo se hace para he, she, it. They don't drive to work. Negative. They don't drive to work. No manejan para ir a trabajar. They use public transportation. They use. Dejamos el verbo tal cual, ¿verdad? No le agregamos la S porque estamos hablando de they. The bus or the train. The train doesn't stop near our house. Vea la expresión, the train doesn't stop. Es un negativo, ¿verdad? And because it's the train, we are talking about it. So we say doesn't for negative, right? So they take the bus. Again, they take the bus. Take. Uh, simple present. Okay, so uh, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta acá. Uh, about the vocabulary of transportation means. Verdad, hemos comenzado con el vocabulario de los medios de transporte. Later, we have explained how do we get to our workplaces. Hemos dicho cómo llegamos a nuestros lugares de trabajo. How long does it take? ¿Cuánto nos toma llegar ahí? Right? And for tomorrow, we are going to continue talking about simple present. Okay? okay. Thank you for coming. It's uh, nice to meet you and I hope to see you tomorrow here. Okay? Be safe. And take care. Bye. Nice to meet Good you. Night. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.